right guys it's Rob from Royal Balls my clown clutch has shed out and we're going to take a look at that this is the fire clown to the pastel vanilla clown female and we were hoping to get the Alelic fire and vanilla uh, vanilla cream or pastel fire vanilla vanilla scream uh, Alelic combos in clown form let's take a look and see what we got Okay guys, this is the biggie for me so far this year. This is the clown clutch. The pastel vanilla clown female to the fire clown male. And they have all shed out now. Uh, so let's take a look at them now that they've shed out. The first thing that I want to do is to have a look at them all together and you can see that the two snakes here are different to the others. These are the two non-pastels here and we have two pastels that are slightly darker. Let's have a look at both of those now that they've shed. They are actually remarkably similar in colour, pattern and if I can just get them to come out here. Head stamps are also remarkably similar. Spotted pattern with some yellow colour on here. And you'll see the back of the neck also has a very similar pattern here and here. You can see a very heavy and dark outlined dorsal with a very busy alien head pattern. We've got white lips. So both of these I think are pastel pastel clowns as opposed to this one which has exactly the same pattern but he's much much darker because it doesn't have pastel. So this is just a straight clown and then we have two pastel clowns. This guy here when we compare to the regular clown, so the regular clown is this one on this side just look at the head stamp on there and this one has a much more reduced pattern and is a lighter colour overall you can see that the pattern is much reduced the alien heads are almost completely disappeared this has got a completely unbroken dorsal stripe and just look at that just look at that head stamp now I thought at first that this was a fire because of the pattern reduction uh, but now that it's shed and I've got a better idea of the colour and I can see the head stamp better, I think this is vanilla. This is a vanilla clown. So we can compare it to another vanilla clown that I actually happen to have in my collection. So this is a vanilla clown, adult female. And if we look at the head stamps, if I can get them to show you their head stamps, let's just zoom in on that. You can see immediately the similarity in the head stamp here on this animal. The head stamps are almost identical. This one is a little bit straighter at the back, this one has an arrow and this one has more of an anvil uh, but you can see the shape on the head behind the eyes here exactly the same. This one has faded out a little bit obviously as it's matured but the head stamp is is identical. So these are both vanilla clowns. We've already compared this guy to a vanilla clown Let's compare him to Dad, who is a fire clown. And immediately you can see the difference. Let's just zoom in there, the difference in head stamps. There you 
go. We've got the two heads side by side. Dad has this cross with a circle in the middle and this guy here has much heavier patterning towards the back of the head. Father also has these donuts on the dorsal you can see here. So the dorsal is much more broken, pattern is much heavier and this one the sun has a much more continuous dorsal. So that is why I now think this guy is vanilla rather than fire as in the father. I do not see any of these donuts on the dorsal here. So I think we have fire clown father and vanilla clown son. So when we look at them again all together we've got the standard clown, the vanilla clown, we have this dark coloured one here which is pastel clown and this dark coloured one here which is pastel clown and then we have these two guys with the very light coloured heads which are clearly a lot lighter and brighter. These two snakes here much lighter and brighter than just the pastel equivalent. You can see that these two light coloured guys here have got almost completely white heads and this one does not. This one has a much less blushed head. So obviously these lighter coloured ones here there is something else going on aside from just the pastel in this one. So let's take a closer look at these two. And I said pre-shed that the white head was a dead giveaway for vanilla. But if we look at these two animals you see this one has a much darker more continuous dorsal with a much heavier outline to it. The head stamps are fairly similar but this one is much busier. This one retains a lot more of what I would call a pastel pattern and this one has a much more linear dorsal. So I don't think these are the same animal. If we have a look at them side by side you can see that this one has a much different pattern to this one. So this one has the heavier dorsal outline and a reduced pattern and I think this is actually a firefly clown and this one with the busy pattern much more broken is the pastel vanilla. So this is the one that has vanilla in it, this is the one that has fire. Let's get a look at those close together. So I think we have one firefly clown and one pastel vanilla clown. So again I don't think that we got the vanilla cream or the vanilla scream combo in this clutch. So here is the pastel vanilla. Let's compare her to mum. So here is mother and daughter. You can see the very busy pattern but the dorsal is also quite broken unlike the, there we can see the head stamps now, the similarity in head stamps. You see the back of the head and the back of the head here very very similar. The blushing down the sides which this girl also has. Let's see if we can see towards the tail. You can see the alien heads at the tail end do start to coalesce just as they do in this example. So I think this is the same. So here we go, mother and daughter, pastel vanilla and pastel vanilla. So we have one, two, three, 
three males and one, two, three females. So a 50-50 split and it is actually the pastel vanilla and the firefly and one of the pastels that are the females. So plenty of holdbacks from this clutch. So whilst this guy here is a male I'm thinking this is probably going to be a hold back as well and we can grow him up and see whether we still think it's vanilla or fire sometime in the future. And these two guys being males I'll probably keep four from this clutch and these two awesome babies we'll be looking to move these on to new homes. So I did of course want a second opinion on the clutch so I did take the whole clutch down to ARP Constrictors uh, he has much more experience than I do uh, let's take a look and see what he said. Okay so I brought the clown clutch round to ARP uh, to get a second opinion from somebody with much more experience than I do so uh, over to Arwen who's, who's okay. going to go through these clowns with you and uh, let's ID them. Okay guys, so this should be the normal clown, the plain clown. It's really nice pattern though. Really nice looking, uh, very busy pattern uh, clown. It's a good looking clown. And this is what uh, Rob thinks is a vanilla clown. Yeah, I thought at first it might be a fire clown because of the reduced pattern, but it's even more reduced than the fire that I have. So when I compared the head stamps, Obviously it's a little bit brighter than the standard clown, so I, I think that that one is now vanilla. Yeah, actually um, the, the problem with this is the it's quite reduced. So when it's reduced like that, it's a bit harder to, it's a bit harder to ID them. Yes, because you lose the pattern. Yeah. Vanillas are usually a bit more busier, but I think this, this would be a vanilla clown, I agree. So let's move on to the next one. So these, these are the two really light coloured ones with a light head. Yeah, these two I believe is um, pastel vanilla clown. Now I thought one of these might be fire, the one with the more continuous dorsal, but you spotted something that I didn't. And that's the pattern yeah. on the side where the keyholes have become kind of triangular or yes. are all kind of broken up. You have a you have a vanilla clown female that looks just like that. Yeah, uh, the, the both the pattern, both patterns on both these snakes are quite typical vanilla pastel vanilla clowns, and also the head. Weird enough, um, on uh, normal codom combos, a firefly would be brighter than a pastel vanilla, but when it's with clowns, it's a bit different. The vanillas tend to be a lot more brighter than the firefly clowns. Um, so these flirts are definitely pastel vanilla clowns. I'll show you a yearling where it's already, the colors already dropped and everything, but you can see the pattern is still the same. Yeah. So that's a yearling vanilla clown, pastel vanilla clown. Yeah, as you can see the the patterns. See, it's the same pattern. This, this pattern here. Yeah. It's getting very triangular and that, it's exactly the same pattern on the side there. Yeah, I can see that now. I have another I one. Quite clearly. So you can see the same with this. And you can see the cloud, everything is the same, the dorsal, I mean, the cloud pattern on the dorsal, yeah. everything is the same. But there's quite a lot of variation even even between your two individuals. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you sold me on that, two vanilla, pastel vanilla clowns then, yes. not, not a vanilla clown and a, a firefly clown. Oh, I'll also show you an example of a firefly clown, so you can see the difference. Well, yeah, so that's a uh, firefly clown. Let me just pop back one on the... Okay, so this is the one that I thought might be the firefly, and you can see that the pattern is nowhere near the same. This is brighter. The head stamp on the firefly is nowhere yes. near as blushed as the as on the vanilla version. So yeah, okay, I'll buy that. So and the pattern is a lot more regular. It it basically looks like a clown but a lot more brighter and cleaner than a clown. Okay, so two pastel vanillas then. Yes. And now we look at the two 
Darker ones in the clutch. So these ones I thought were just pastel clowns, but it is actually really difficult to tell them apart from the firefly. Yeah. So usually, uh, typically, the fireflies uh, a bit more. They have a bit more cleaner head compared to the pastel clowns. But you know, there's uh, always a bit of variation in things. I, I think they are both pastel clowns, but uh, only after a few shots we can differentiate. Because this fella looked identical to the sibling, the, this firefly clown here. Mm -hmm. He looked exactly like the pastel clowns with slightly brighter head, slight, very very slightly cleaner body. But as he shed a few times, he just became nicer and nicer when the pastel clowns just turned darker. Yeah, and, and you can see the difference in the head stamp. Yeah. The pastels are not quite so blushed as the firefly, the firefly not quite so blushed as the pastel vanilla. Yes. Okay, so we got two pastel pastel clowns here. Which means that we didn't hit any fire in the clutch. Well that that one vanilla clown might still be fire actually. Awesome. So from a genetic standpoint here is the two strands of DNA and we know that we have produced visual clowns. Clown being a recessive gene means that this is... I'm doing this upside down guys. This is the address for clown and this allele is full uh, because they are visual clowns it is carrying two copies of the clown gene and so fire and vanilla resides at a different address and we know that you can get fire clowns and, and firefly clowns because fire resides at a different address on the genetic code it happens to be because they are allelic the same location as vanilla okay so we know that you can get fire clowns you know that we can get vanilla clowns there is no logical genetic reason why one side of this allele is modified by clown uh, such that you cannot get the vanilla cream or vanilla scream combo. I did on the internet come across an example of a super vanilla clown. Vanilla and vanilla at this allele produces the super vanilla clown and here is the here is the picture so that you can see that uh, so if clown can exist with the super form of vanilla clown can certainly exist with the allelic combination of vanilla and fire I cannot think of any logical reason why you would not be able to get a vanilla cream or a vanilla scream clown logically scientifically genetically it ought to be possible unless there is something going on that we do not understand. There are many possible reasons why this clutch did not produce a vanilla cream or a vanilla scream clown uh, and in fact we didn't get any fire at all so one of the possibilities is of course that the snakes involved are not what we think they are. Um, the female is proven, she's been used before in other uh, clutches and she is uh, definitely pastel vanilla that is proven this is a first time male and visually he certainly looks like a fire um, I have no reason to doubt that he is fire so there is something strange going on if fire is not transmitted to the offspring um, we are using him in another clown clutch later this season the eggs are in the incubator and um, that's a pastel enchi clown female with the fire clown male so uh, we get another shot at seeing fire from this particular male. One of the other reasons is that this is actually an impossible combo uh, but I think we've seen from the genetics here that um, uh, that is very unlikely given uh, that we can produce both fire clowns and vanilla clowns and there is an example uh, that I've shown you showing a super vanilla clown so, so genetically it ought to be uh, possible. One of the other reasons that we don't see the vanilla cream or vanilla screen clown is because it doesn't look like we expect it to in clown form and we're misidentifying um, but 
I don't think that's the case in my clutch. I think all the uh, offspring have been correctly identified. And the other possible reason is that there is something going on genetically that we simply don't yet understand about this allelic combination. So um, let's keep an open mind. The jury is still out. Um, any additional information more than welcome. Jump into the comments below. So there we go guys. Not only did we not get a vanilla cream clown or a vanilla scream clown, we didn't actually get any fire in the clutch at all. And uh, you've seen the male, um, definitely a fire clown male. Um, and we've talked a little bit about uh, some of the genetics involved. I still think that a vanilla cream or a vanilla scream clown is a viable genetic combination, uh, although there may be something going on genetically that we don't yet understand given that we've missed this now in five clutches combined from ARP and myself and all the feedback that I'm getting from many people about the fact that it's never been produced and there is no examples on Morph Market or on Instagram that I can find however the genetics suggest that it is still possible so We'll try again. I have a number of pairings this coming season, not specifically for vanilla cream or vanilla scream clowns, but they are one of the possible outcomes. Uh, so I'll keep you guys posted. If any of you have any additional comments, please jump down into the comments below. I'm always interested to hear your opinions, thoughts and experience. Um, it helps a lot when you can see what other people are doing or not doing, uh, as in this case. <laughs> So thanks for watching, don't forget to share, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.